So this is my menu here. This is the main character, and the main character gets chased by the FIB agent, which is uh, kind of nice. I've made a little bit of a menu here, so you can go and pick one of over 50 characters. I think I have about 60 characters. This is not with the Sinti assets, by the way. These are from the Assetsville pack. And you know, random character. I've, I'm just picking one randomly of an array. And then if you if you find one and you think, ah, I wish I could go back to the previous one, you can click this button here, and that just remembers the the previous one there, but only one. So you know, kind of nice. The farmer here. Maybe we're gonna go and uh, go with with this guy here. That's that's cool. Then you can go and clear the high score. That's something that's in game. And then you go press start, and then boom, here we go. And now I can run and I can slide underneath these uh, obstacles here. I can jump over the cars and when I run into something, then the FIB agent starts chasing me. But if I don't do anything, then he goes and, you know, I, I lose him again. So now I can run into something again, collect coins. That's kind of cool. And um, the trick of the game is that all this is spawned in randomly. So you never know which obstacle is where or what, whoops, or what, what coins are where. And uh, if there's cars and whatnot, we just don't know that. And the other difficult bit is that the game gets faster over time. So I don't have a numeric value of that just yet on the screen, but there comes a point where it's just like insanely fast. I did actually have this lane here where collisions are not detected. So this is kind of for testing in this one here and this one and that one, collisions are detected, but on the second lane here, they're not. So if I walk through this, I don't actually get penalized. So um, we can see how fast it goes. There is a cap in there, but uh, once we reach that, there's the, that, that cap is you know a little bit off. There's a bit of motion blur action going on in here as well. And the, the idea is, you know, try to run as far as you can <laughs> and slide underneath these bad boys. Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong key. That's not actually the cursor keys, even though I could probably set those up. I've just set up ASWD and I can jump with the spacebar and I can go and slide with the, oops, with the D key. Oh my, don't get me, don't get me. I need to break my high score. <laughs> and if I, if I do die, let me just go die deliberately. I get this invisibility or this immunity period here as well. But if I die again at that point when I'm not flashing, then, you know, game is over. So one of those things. <laughs> so that's what I've been able to cobble together. And um, ideally, I want to go and I'll go try it again or go back to the main menu. Um, ideally, I'd like to do this so that after a thousand meters or so, different types of houses spawn. Maybe there's a little rest period and, you know, there's different obstacles and maybe there's a forest level next and maybe there's a desert level and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's what I've been able to to do so good game good game i'm gonna turn this into and i'm calling it jay's amazing endless runner game i thought that's a catchy title <laughs> the lara croft version so i'm gonna i'm gonna rebuild this game as well from scratch so she doesn't look like lara croft maybe she we have somebody like that um yeah 60 characters she's kind of the default character here i'll, I'll try this again and this is now here my, my high score i really need to work on that so that i can break it again <laughs> And it's much slower in the beginning, so I might put it so that you can change the kind of the speed level. And the music is just like a like you know free demo music for now. I'll see if I can find something that uh, that is actually legally allowed for me to use. But yes, I was quite proud of that because the thing is, if I go, if I go, let me go and do something else. Let me go and put this into select a viewport I can show you how it works if I go I'll stay in this lane so I don't get uh, I don't have to worry about things I'm gonna detach and then I'll I'll show you how this how this looks on a on a bird's eye view so behind me these blocks are being deleted eventually he says <laughs> sometime at some point uh, these blocks here also this fox so that you don't see them getting spawned but yeah, all these, this is like kind of live action here. And then in the distance, nothing is built yet. So these, these blocks are being being built there as we as we run, it's kind of cool. And I don't know what the obstacles are, there's driving cars and stuff, it's very cool. And then behind me, once they come running, this is my, my guys here, these blocks are being torn down. And I'm not doing that very elegantly. 
um, they're just I'm just waiting a period of time and then the cars they don't quite get despawned <laughs> but eventually you know they're, they're also gone like now for example <laughs> it's cute I love learning all these little mechanics here and then using that for all kinds of other you know for all kinds of programming puzzles yeah kind of cool I always wanted to know how you do that and Julia's actually made a game very similar to this it's called Dash and Splat her team did this and that's you know that's uh, quite the achievement I have to say well, I made this coin in Blender here, by the way. That is that's my coin. <laughs> Everything else was assets from the, I believe, Assetsville marketplace. <laughs> cute, isn't it? <laughs> super, super cute.